Hello everyone, my name is Nabil Javed Kahlu, advocate. Right now I am standing in Islamabad High Court. Uh, today, the case, today I would like to update regarding a case which was being heard by, by the Honorable Mr. Justice uh, Amir Farooq of the Islamabad High Court. We have filed a petition before the Islamabad High Court on behalf of Pakistan Civil Aviation Officers Association. And we have prayed in that case that uh, the President of Pakistan has uh, bifurcated Pakistan's civil aviation authority into two parts. Number one is called Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority through an ordinance of, uh, which was enacted on 7th of July 2021 and other is Pakistan, civil, Pakistan Airport Authority which was enacted on 10th of July 2021. It is clearly written in the, both the ordinances that both authorities must have their own director general, their own board, with the secretary of the board. But till today, neither these ordinances has been properly implemented by the federal government, neither independent director generals has been appointed, neither secretary of the board has been appoint, appointed. And a single director general which was being previously appointed illegally uh, through our 1982 ordinance is working as Director General Civil Aviation Authority as well as with the additional charge of Director General Airport Authority. We have also sailed uh, the uh, verses of the section which allows the federal government to appoint Director General Civil Aviation Authority and Director General Airport Authority. Because we have stated in the court that the verses of these both sections in both the ordinances are contradicted to the judgment passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of Pakistan in 2014. Because in that judgment, the Honorable Supreme Court was pleased to lay down the criteria for the appointment of Director General Pakistan Civil Aviation Authority. They have stated in that judgment that uh, the rules of Civil Aviation Recruitment 1971 clearly says that to appoint Director General Civil Aviation Authority, 18 years plus category 1 service of, of a civil aviation officer or perfectly part in command is mandatory. So we pray, have prayed before the court that presently Director General Civil Aviation Authority, Mr. Khakan Murtaza, having additional charge as Director General Airport Authority is, uh, is not eligible as per the judgment passed by the Honorable Supreme Court in 2014. Hence, fresh uh, advertisement is to be published in a newspaper fresh panels to be made for the appointment of new director general and procedure laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court is to be followed. Today, during the hearing, law ministry was uh, being represented by the law, by the lawyers. Uh, Evisham Devian was being represented by their lawyers and Khakan Murtza was also being represented through their lawyers. During the hearing, the Honorable Court has asked the, uh, has inquired the uh, federal government and law ministry that uh, under what criteria you have appointed a Director General Civil Aviation Authority who is eligible to hold the post in the light of the judgment passed by the Honorable Supreme Court in 2014. The lawyers have no answer to that query. Further, the Honorable Court has asked the uh, lawyers of the Federal Government, Law Ministry and Aviation Division to submit the uh, requisition, to submit the summary and to submit the eligibility criteria of present Director General Civil Aviation Authority. Hence, the case is further urgent for uh, uh, 24th of February 2022. And uh, this is the update for today because uh, as far as our information is concerned, the federal government has never moved any summary for the appointment of Director General Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, the eligibility criteria of present Director General Civil Aviation is, is not equal to the as laid down under the law. Uh, he is not eligible to hold the post uh, and uh, there is a high possibility, uh, I, I say again, there is a high possibility that a next date of hearing there is a chance and possibility that the court may pass an order against the present Director General Civil Aviation Authority and declare his appointment as illegal, unlawful, void of an issue in the eyes of law. So till 24th of February, uh, uh, we will wait and we will see what will happen in the court. Uh, kindly subscribe my channel and uh, also write your comments regarding my video and uh, so that I will keep posting the, the uh, 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 next videos and update my friends regarding the aviation uh, situation in Pakistan. Thank you so much.